More than 26,000 North Korean refugees currently reside in South Korea, and many of them struggle to adjust to their new lives. To help them, a student organization here at UC Berkeley, Liberty in North Korea Berkeley Chapter, also known as LINK, has launched a new project whereby Cal students teach English to North Korean refugees on a weekly basis via Skype. They call it CalChat with North Korean refugees. How did you come up with this um, innovative idea? I wanted to introduce a new program where members could have the chance to directly interact with you know, actual refugees residing in South Korea. Um, so I got in contact with a North Korean refugee who lives in South Korea and I asked her, you know, what can we do, what can we do to help? Um, so she asked around, she asked her friends and she said it would be nice for us to learn English um, and hence CalChat was born. Just like that? <laughs> yep, just like that. And of course, you said that these North Korean refugees are currently in South Korea. Yeah, right. And I suppose you must have faced some practical dif difficulties when you were setting up this program. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think the most, you know, biggest challenge was the logistics and coordinating the schedule for both tutors and tutees because, you know, the tutees are all the way in South Korea, tutors are all the way in Berkeley, California. Um, so we have to, you know, consider time zone, we have to consider that South Korea is a day ahead which me and the other co-founder of this program kind of forgot that Korea was a day ahead when coordinating the schedule. So we actually had to rematch everyone all over again. So that was the biggest challenge, I think, so far. We also spoke to some tutors about the experience. Even though I can speak Korean, um, I, even though I speak it at home, and even though I'm learning it here, I feel that um, this opportunity really challenged it because usually I didn't realize how much I depended on certain English words that I would just throw in. Um, but when I was tutoring this, uh, tutor tutoring her who had absolutely no background in English, I realized that I actually, those few critical words really mean a lot and that I really need, like there, there is a lot for me to work on in terms of my Korean. So I think it humbled me a lot. I just hope that she is able to comfortably converse with her, um, just com com comfortably converse in English uh, with other people um, who can speak English and she'll, she'll be able to build confidence in um, talking to other people. I want to be that kind of open door for her to know a little bit more about the American culture that she wants to know more about um, by telling her about uh, my day. Um, every day I would t ask her what her day was like and then she'd ask me what my day was like and um, just to teach her about what is what it is like to be a university um, as a student in America. You heard that this new program will be a model for other chapters of Liberty in North Korea in the United States and around the globe to copy in the near or distant future. I think it would be a fantastic way for more and more people to, you know, just help the refugees who are in South Korea who want to learn English because there are so many who want to but who don't have the resources or the opportunity to do so. So I think it would be great, you know, if we could serve as that first model for people to kind of, you know, see and emulate and they can make it into their own style, uh, whatever works for each organization.